I'm walking across a ramp here. I'm in Deer Park Airport in Washington State. It's just north of uh, Spokane, 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 Washington. And uh, just met a couple younger aviators and uh, the guy with the Hamilton, it's a 1929 Hamilton. I don't know the whole history about it, but he owns it. Brought it up here for some maintenance. First time I've ever seen a Hamilton up close. Beautiful airplane, well maintained, and as you can see, they fly it. That's what's cool about it. So, all right, let's go see what uh, Dal and I is going to be flying. Morning. <laughs> Morning to y'all. So here's the beauty here. This is Dal's new Fairchild 24. Tell us a little bit about it, Dal. Wow. Well. I'm still pinching myself, number one. Um, 1938, this plane was built in 1938, uh, Hagerstown, Pennsylvania, Fairchild Aircraft Corporation, and uh, spent most of its life around Ohio, Pennsylvania area, and then it was flown to Col uh, California for a bunch of decades, and then imported to Canada, where uh, late 80s it was totally torn down, beautifully rest restored, and. Uh, the man who, who then flew and loved it for the next 30 years uh, is sickly and he sold it to me and so we just got it across the border and now we're bringing it back home. All right, guys. Uh, I'm here with Sean. We went up into Fairchild, did a few landings, like four, four, yep. like four landings. So we're going to make the journey to uh, Kentucky. But thanks, Sean. You're welcome. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Yep. See ya. All right, we're getting ready to start this journey out to uh, Kentucky. We're here in uh, Deer Park, Washington. This 1938 Fairchild 24. I had fog all morning and it just lifted. I'm not in no big hurry, but uh, we're gonna, our, our main thing is to try to get over one of these passes. And if not, then we're gonna have to head south down towards Boise. Uh, but we're trying to make it to Missoula, uh, Montana. Uh, enjoy the, the journey. Good afternoon everyone, it's uh, Dal and Dewey. So we just went over the first ridge, we're over uh, Quarter Lane, Idaho, and uh, we're up here at 7,500 feet, going to Missoula, and uh, right now it's beautiful weather, it's smooth. Uh, we were delayed about, what, four hours, five hours yeah. of uh, real low uh, ceilings, fog right in the valley of Deer Park. Uh, Washington area so uh, Dow just purchased his airplane and we're flying it back to uh, northern Kentucky and uh, this is actually his first time he got to touch the controls so <laughs> get your hands off the controls <laughs> yeah this is a beautiful beautiful place man I, uh, I've i been in the quarter lane here uh, once before years ago uh, with the company I work for but man I haven't been here in years but I see some really cool airplanes down there right now. I have to show you. Man. Uh, we really just got through our main import point, uh, Mullins Pass, and it's clear here. It's really beautiful, actually. And uh, we're, we filed IFR. We come out of uh, Deer Park, uh, picked up I-90 uh, eastbound, and that's what we're doing. We're, uh, I follow the roads. <laughs> and uh, I-90 is, we're at it now. Straight down. <laughs> that's right. 
So if we have any engine problems or anything like that, we're going to put this airplane right on the highway and uh, you know, hopefully just walk away, uh, get it fixed and fly it out of there one day. But uh, this is, you know, for us, we're from the Midwest, so we fly in flat land and uh, took a lot of advice from a lot of people that live around here, talk us through what to look for, weather, and uh, this is what we're doing. Uh, we're, we're taking their advice, and uh, this Bollins Pass was a real crucial checkpoint for us. Uh, our next stop is Missoula. We're only 75 nautical miles, or uh, actually statues miles. We're like 40 minutes out. The airplane's uh, impressing us right now. We're doing 128 miles an hour. So, uh, what do you think, Dal? This is, uh, I'm pinching myself. <laughs> <laughs> Been thinking about this for so long, and now it's happening and getting used to a new plane. And uh, Yeah, we're not in Kansas anymore, for sure. <laughs> no. Dal owns a peat pole that he built I don't know, what, eight, nine years ago? Yep. So that's airplane he's been flying, and he just bought this to try to upgrade on the peak pole. So, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. This is new for me. I, I brought a, a, an airplane back years ago, but we went the southern route, I-40. So we'll stop it here. Uh, we'll give you an update in a few minutes. Okay. Whiskey, whiskey, left base approved, runway 26, clear to land. Okay, left base approved, clear to land, 26, Bravo Whiskey Whiskey. This is going to be the testament. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, props, seat belts, yep. switches. Gears down. Gears down. Locked. <laughs> yeah. So is it coming right down the pipe? Pretty much, I think. I'm not sure what he said. Do they have wind socks? Seven zero one seven gusting two four. There we go. One seven gust two four. coming right down the pipe. Big, big, 
country. Big, that's right. So we just left out of uh, Missoula, and we're trying to get to Bozeman, and just out of the north up here, lots of snow, but uh, we're in the clear right now. We're going to stay this way, and uh, I-90, about our IFR flight plan, it's right over here on the left. So we're gliding distance away, but keep this uh, fairly safe. Once we get past Bozeman and then actually Billing, we could get past Billing, man, we're going to be down in the, the high plains and things will be a lot better for us. Beautiful country here, it's just, I'm not used to this uh, high terrain. But we're really hauling the mail, literally, 135 miles an hour. Valley area here we're what are 16 miles out from Bozeman winds are uh, gusting to 23 knots seems like uh, that's what what I'm getting <laughs> so uh, landed runway 30 we're gonna go to jet aviation what you guys can see here it's beautiful out here man totally amazing this flight's been pretty pretty nice if we wouldn't have got stuck five hours over at uh, in Deer Park with the fog, man, we could have really made some great uh, territory today, Dow. Yeah, I would have, could have, should have. That's right. I did get to go to have a Pokeball, though, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Child Bravo with you with you, where are you parking? Jet Aviation. Bravo with you with you, turn left on 321, right on Alpha to Jet Aviation. A32 and then Alpha to Jet Aviation. Uh, Bravo with you. So Dal and I, we're in Bozeman, Montana right now. Uh, we went to Missoula, Bozeman, decided to stop here. We we're trying to get to Sheridan, Wyoming, but uh, there's a little bit of weather between here and there, and I didn't really feel comfortable in trying to take a chance. And the sun is, we're kind of fighting the sun. So it's a um, wife's choice. We're here at uh, Jet Aviation, and the Fairchild is put away and doing well. Dal, what do you think first day? Man, there was over some big mountains, Stewie. But thrilled with the engine, the uh, plane. It was bumpy, it was rocky, but um, man. And Dewey had some challenging <laughs> landings. 25 knot winds and uh, gusting and just, yeah. I think it's good to stop here. That's right. So we're uh, going to the hotel. We'll take you guys. All right, so we're in the uh, hotel shuttle and heading to the Hilton Garden Inn for the night. We'll be out early in the morning. 
big thanks to the driver here for coming to pick us up. Um, Dow, hope you enjoy this. I'm giving him the corporate lifestyle right now. <laughs> Hangar, you know, airport shuttle, yeah.